Hello, my friends. I'm sorry that I sound stuffed up. Allergy season is here. So I have tons of notes of stuff I've been writing down that I wanted to talk in terms of theories and stuff since we are on break. Yesterday was so weird not to have Pretty Little Liars, but the Twisted finale was on, and that was fabulous. Um, so let's just get started now. Um, as I said, I, I'm going to be exploring different characters that you know, try to talk about things that make them sketchy or make them, you know, maybe a suspect or something. I'm going to start with Hannah. Now, in terms of Hannah, Hannah never really had a secret. You know, all the other girls had a crazy secret, right? Um, and Hannah, I mean, yeah, she obviously was overweight, but that's obvious, right? Um, she was tormented by Ellie very well, and then you notice, like, after Ellie disappears, that she loses weight, and she kind of becomes the queen bee, she is very fashionable and, and such. Also, I remember, Hannah didn't, um, told the girls not to take anything from Ezra's place, like, why would you not want to take those things if she didn't suspect that maybe they were going to find something out about her, maybe? Um, and also, she had the gun in her hands, and she didn't even try to shoot at A. Um, which I thought was extremely sketchy. Also, she was friends, or very, like, best friends with Mona, who we know was the original A. Um, and she's also close to Lucas, who, in my last video, I'm very suspicious of as well. So, I don't know, guys. Um, also, my theory... I'm starting to think that maybe Hannah's the one that has the twin because it's her mother that constantly has those twin, like hallucinations almost remember the halloween episode back in the day um i don't know i just think that it's strange sorry that um that it usually happens with mrs Marin. then we have melissa melissa disappears to london obviously that's sketchy remember when they were talking and she says everything i've done i've done to protect you spencer sketch um she knew that ellie wasn't dead um, because she keeps saying, that girl, I know that girl in the grave, that girl, she, wouldn't she say Allison? Um, what does that say? Did the girl buried, oh, did the girl in the grave, that's what, in the grave now, try to kill Allie? Like, that's another theory that I had, I randomly put in, <laughs> in that area, it doesn't have to do with Melissa. Um, and also maybe Melissa is the Black Widow, because we, you know, Ian died, and she actually was a widow in, in the show. I mean, a widow, obviously. Or she thought... Or she thought Ellie wasn't. I don't know what I meant. See, that's what happens when I need to do things. But, I mean, her as the Black Widow kind of makes sense, right? Now, you start to think, now, I've, I've always made jokes that, oh, Dr. Sullivan is it. But think about who you tell your secrets to. Um, and that's kind of where my theory with Dr. Sullivan maybe being sketchy. But also, you tell things to your pastor, right? Um, pastor Ted has seemed very sketchy. And he comes in and out of the storyline. Always has a ton of money. Because he bailed her out the $100,000, Mrs. Marin. And I thought that was sketchy as well. To go back to the Lucas, I found some more things um, to go with that. Um, back in the day, like I think it was a flashback that he said she'll get what's coming to her. I believe he said that's Amona. And he was the one that destroyed the memorial, remember? And um, they said, like, maybe if he was A or he was helping A, he set up Hannah's breakup with Sean during that dance a thon when she was like, if you don't dance with Sean, da da da, you're next or something. Remember that? Um, also, he was the one that wore that creepy mask. Remember the flashback with Allie in the Halloween store? And it creeps her out. And then then we saw the Halloween uh, show or party. And he actually like was walking by and like, bitch. Remember? And also, we see Lucas goes to Radley. And then um, he was given the drugs that drugged Emily um, from Mona. And then they find sedatives in his camera bag. Remember? And then also the massage with Emily was revealed to be Lucas as well. A few more things. We learned, or I read, that Mona did imagine that red coat scene in Radley where we see, where she says, I've done everything you asked me to. Um, so it's just confirming even more her, um, her uh, mental illness. Um, 
Also, I think it's pretty obvious that Ian knew that Alice, Allison was alive because when we find out that Allison was the one that pushed him off the bell tower, um, he, remember he just said, what are you doing here? Not how are you here or why are you alive? So, um, it's very obvious Ian knew that she was alive. Also, um, I th like, do you think that the person that pushed Toby's mom off the t Bradley roof is the same person that tried to hit Allie? Um... I don't know. And also, the last thing is that it's the connection between Noel and Allie is very obvious because if you think back, um, the bag that Allie took and left has Vivian in the flashback with Mona um, is the bag that Maya started using when we realized she was staying at um, Noel Khan's house. And it is the bag that Hannah and Emily found at Noel's cabin. Um, with some clues in it. So I think it goes to show that Ali was staying at Noel's house. He knew she was alive and I don't know. I still want to think that Ellie's evil and that she was tormenting the girls. Um, I don't know. So those are some of my theories. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm crazy? Um, do you have any other Hannah, Melissa, or Lucas, uh, you know, suspicious things or things that they've done? Comment below. We'll add them to our list. And, um, I hope you guys aren't going too crazy without Pretty Little Liars. It'll be here before you know it. Um, it is premiering on my birthday, um, which I probably won't be able to watch it that night because I'm not going to be home, but um, that's okay. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.